2012 was a very special year in the life and history of Montserrat, as thousands of Montserratians from around the world converged upon the Emerald Isle for an end-of-year homecoming. During this time, New Carmel and the other Seventh-day Adventist congregations on the island were bursting at the seam with old friends and family members who returned home, some of whom have not seen each other in more than 20 years. What was even more thrilling is seeing all our visiting members unite their voices in singing, We Have This Hope. The words of this inspirational song reminded us, at least for the moment, of what Monstrat once used to be and give us a hope of that day when we all will be united on the sea that looks like glass. Mildred Robinson was among those who came home. She was given the opportunity to deliver the message in a home church for the first time in a number of years. And she preached a very soul-stirring message. Let us rewind and look at what the churches were doing in Montserrat in the year 2012. Under the divine leadership and inspiration of God, the Seventh-day Adventist Church on Montserrat started an organized ministry to reach the Spanish community on the island. Welcome to Elder Morales. Queremos dar la bienvenida al hermano Morales. And we want to say how happy we are for the wonderful work he has been doing with the Spanish community. Amen. The Spanish group is the fastest growing Seventh-day Adventist congregation on the island. The work began in earnest when just over two years ago, God blessed Montserrat with a true man of God from the Dominican Republic, Antigua and Barbuda, in the person of Bible worker Rosalio Morales. Elder Morales began his ministry work on Montserrat a few months prior to the start of a bilingual crusade which was held in June 2011. Since that crusade, the church on Montserrat has been experiencing one miracle after another under God's power and guidance. The first miracle saw 11 Spanish persons becoming members of the church and by far the largest number from the Spanish-speaking community to ever join the church on Montserrat. The second miracle can be seen in the rapid pace at which Spanish-speaking persons have been joining the church. In less than two years, another 19 persons have joined the church. To God we give the glory, for indeed he has done great things. With supervision from our resident pastor, Carl Hastings, and working together with Bible worker Rosalio Morales, the Spanish group of the Seventh-day Adventist community on Montserrat has been experiencing exponential growth. We thank God for the support of the South Leeward Mission and the prayers, support, donations, contributions of our members on Montserrat, in the diaspora and throughout the mission. It was felt that a forum for youths was needed and this saw the birth of the Youths for Christ project. A forum was held subsequently where youths were given the opportunity to speak about issues affecting them and adults took advantage of the opportunity to share their experiences, wealth of knowledge on youth-related issues. 
the Youth Council facilitated a married couple's banquet during February 2012. A singles banquet was put on by the youth department and this was another highlight for the year. Long after the event, many youths are still talking about the wonderful experience. It is anticipated that this activity will become an annual event. Being aware that some persons will never come into our doors, we decided to take the message to them in the form of prayer drives around the island, stopping at different points to preach and pray with persons along the way. At least four such motorcades were held and the word of God was heard echoing through the various communities on island. During this prayer drive, the youth and personal ministries departments used the opportunity to place Adventist literature in the hands of persons. Over 300 pieces of literature were distributed. This was another successful evangelistic effort. There were a number of other outreach programs such as open-air meetings around the island, visiting the elderly and feeding the less fortunate. Vacation Bible School 2012 was truly a success. The sacrifice of volunteers contributed to the holistic development of the children. The theme chosen was Daniel's Courage in Captivity. The children were thrilled and eager to learn more about Daniel and his friends. They were challenged by the example of Daniel and they purposed in their hearts to be like Daniel. For the grand finale, the children participated in a graduation ceremony held at the New Carmel Seventh-day Adventist Church. The New Carmel Seventh-day Adventist Church launched an effort to reignite the flames of literature evangelism and keep the vibrancy of the publishing ministry on Montserrat alive. The purpose was to promote literature evangelism as an effective evangelistic tool. The theme for the day was bringing hope into every home. The strength of any organization depends on its leadership. With this in mind, the church had its ordination service where a number of elders and deacons were consecrated to effectively administer the work of the church. The eager beavers, pathfinders, and master guides are the backbone of youth ministries in the Adventist church. And it's no different on Montserrat. The churches are working feverishly under the new leadership of area coordinator Mary Farrell who has responsibility for junior youth and area coordinator Yulin Silcott Graves who is responsible for senior youth as they work collectively to move youth ministry in a positive direction. The Pathfinders were also involved in a number of camps, marches and other evangelistic events where the name of Jesus was proclaimed throughout the Monstration society. Like everywhere else in the world, the economy of Montserrat is also facing a financial crisis, but God has been good to his church. With the ingathering returns, we were able to help a lot of persons and organizations on Montserrat, such as the Montserrat Secondary School and the Breast Cancer Association, just to name a few. Montserrat is still rebuilding, and because of financial challenge, it is taking quite a while. However, despite these challenges, God's church continues to grow and spread the good news of salvation. Munsrat is still home, still nice, and most definitely still paradise.